Paul, I know not the strong day you had hoped for, but you came in well, birdie par finish. How are you feeling after that third round? Um, I'll be honest, I'm really happy that I've dug in uh, and not played myself at the tournament, in total honesty. I uh, didn't feel great today, didn't play great, didn't have control of the golf ball. So to grind it out in tough conditions and only be one back, uh, I would have taken that halfway through the round. It kind of just started to get away from me a little bit. Hit a great, um, well, what was third shot into 13 after hit, uh, tw into 12, sorry, after hitting in the water off the tee and saved par. And that was a bit of a, a turning point f from there. Uh, went on to birdie 14 and then, like I said, a strong finish on the way in. You've got a strong following on your pairing. I'm guessing that's more for you than it is Julian in this part of the world. How much did they pull you around today? Uh, very, uh, yeah, they, you know, they, it's, it's lovely playing in front of your home crowd. Um, it, it, you can feel their energy and you want to do well for them. Um, you just got to make sure that you don't get too involved at times but no it, it, it is great the home support you know and you know they're, they're a knowledgeable crowd there was you know plenty of clapping for Julian as well but it was a uh, it's a shame I couldn't give them something really special to watch today. You did provide something special on the first round do you have another one of those in you? Uh, I hope so um, if you can do it once the only thing is for me at the moment the winds switched last two days which has made it a little bit more difficult with some of the tee shots for me uh, with the way I like to hit the ball so visually it's made it a little bit more tricky and again, every day we've played it, we had it. We had a different wind on uh, on Thursday, and it was firm and fast. But then we had a different wind on Friday; it was still firm and fast. And then today we've had a bit of rain, so it's softened up. But on a, on the on the second day wind, so it, the golf course has played completely different three days in a row now. So uh, just trying to figure out, you know, what the ball's going to do when it lands, what it's going to do in the air, and uh, it, it's it's proven a good challenge. It's typical Lynx golf, and I, it, to be fair, I really like it when it's like this. I've got to ask you, just because of where we are in the world, what would it mean for you to add this title to your resume? You know, it would be fantastic. You know, I'm not getting too ahead of myself. There's still another 18 holes to go against, you know, a relatively strong field. So it's not like it's 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 a, it's going to be a tough challenge tomorrow. Um, but you, to, to do it, you know, in a local area, I've, I've, I've been fortunate to play a couple of Opens at Birkdale as well. So... The, the actual sort of area means a lot to me and playing in front of this crowd is fantastic as well. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Cheers, Paul. Thank you.